Premier Christy Clark kept a busy schedule today during her visit to Prince George. She used the Council of Forest Industries to discuss the achievements in forestry, despite all the odds against it. She also announced a pair of projects that will help improve that even more. Well, we need to decide what kind of change we want. Is it change that takes us forward? Is it change that takes us back, backward? Is it change Today, it was the Premier's chance to address delegates at the Council of Forest Industries Convention. She went to great lengths to praise the measures and achievements industry and government made working together. She also used the convention to announce $8.4 million in funding to promote BC products in places like India. India has the biggest middle class in history. China has um, a different style of government and government to government contact is absolutely crucial. India is more of a mass market. Government, it's government to business contact matters in India. So we've learned a lot from what we did in China and how to make sure we do it better in India. But I don't want to suggest that they're the same thing. The NDP doesn't argue promoting BC products is a good idea, but feel the Premier's numbers are sketchy. I mean, the ideas themselves in principle, again, are, are good ideas, but uh, I, I really question where the Premier is getting these facts and figures. I mean, particularly around uh, the, the skills training and, and uh, some of the things that the statements that were made. Um, some of them are, I, I think they border on being inaccurate. That wasn't the only announcement from the Premier. Government has also signed an agreement in principle with Kofi to support skills training in the forest sector. And the agreement today is uh, the start of a collaborative effort to move from talking about what the problem is and the strategies that might be used to solve that into actually moving on with designing and implementing some skills training related activities that will help to, to fill that labour, skilled labour supply gap. Clark specifically cites the lack of available apprenticeships to help get the qualified trade into a career. It is going to help us identify apprenticeships, find sponsors for apprenticeships, and help us you know, make sure that, there is, uh, that people are moving seamlessly through the system. So one of my frustrations has been this. We, 13 years, kids are in school, we spend billions of dollars, and then when they graduate, we inevitably say to them, here's your grad certificate, go get another credential. The new province-wide labour market partnership for the solid wood sector will be complete by June. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.